You know, when I was researching, I was thinking, I wonder how much Ben kind of looks back at last year and that loss to the Patriots. The Patriots somehow come away with a road win at Heinz Field. Do you ever think about that opportunity that was lost last year, the Jesse James play? It gets brought up a lot, you know, you at camp, at least probably once a day here, Sonia, it was a catch. The receiver did not survive the ground, it's an incomplete pass. Now the new catch rule, and when, when we sat there and, and did our referees meeting, and they talk about the new rules for the year, that play was the only play they pretty much showed. They walked it through a three-step process and showed us how that is now a catch. It doesn't make you feel any better, but, so it gets brought up a lot, but, Truthfully, that wasn't the end of the season for us. We made the playoffs and we, we lost to Jacksonville, and that was a tough loss. But when you're watching the Super Bowl, you see Zach Ertz's touchdown, you're like, okay, well, that's not a catch because Jesse James, that was the we catch. Were, when that happened, I was very tuned in. Everyone turned it, turn it up a little bit, and let's, let's hear what the explanation was going to be. So it was uh, very interesting. How's Ryan doing, Ryan Shazier? Awesome. He's on the trip. That was fun watching him come off the plane, going down the stairs. Um, it, it's fun having him around. When he got hurt, what was that like for you? It was scary for all of us, but I think the scariest thing was the unknown, right? We didn't know what was going on. We didn't know what happened. We didn't know what did the future hold. So I think the fear of the unknown really got a lot of us. And then once we started to understand and wrap our heads around it and get information, it turned from fear into motivation, into support, into brotherhood, into how can we be here for this guy in his time of need. You guys talk often? We do. We, me and my wife went um, to the hospital a lot to see him and to support him and to help him. And he's around all the time at camp, so it's fun to, to have him there. What's the mood around your team right now? What do you like about this particular team? Well, I like that we have the line back. <laughs> yeah. As a quarterback, that's a kind of a no-brainer. But having everybody back on offense, obviously Le'Veon's not there, but just still having everybody back excites you as a guy that's been around for a long time. You brought up Le'Veon. Are you just to the point where, hey, Le'Veon, come on in. Coach Tomlin's probably not going to put you on the field anyway, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't, th I don't think he's got to worry about getting on the field at so, all. So uh, do, do you tell him, hey, come on in, and you know, we'll work this thing out? You know what? It's something that, that he's got to deal with, and he's got to, to understand him and his representation, whatever they're going to come in when they come in. And I look at it as an awesome opportunity for other guys. James Conner's getting a lot of work, Fitz, Ridd, all those guys. I'm looking at it as a positive from those guys' perspective to, to get a feel for you know what it's like to, to be behind the line. And the line also has to get used to them because they run differently than Le'Veon does. So what I see is you're 36, 15 years, two Super Bowl titles, but you decided you're gonna recalibrate your approach, you know, your diet and your training. You're not done, are you? No, I'm not. I love having those guys in front of me. There's something special about that group, and I, I enjoy them. I enjoy playing football with them. It's hard when you, when there's such an age gap from you and the next oldest guy on the team. Sometimes it's hard to relate to guys because they're playing these video Fortnite. These guys, I don't, I don't do it. And social media and all those things. It's just, it's I don't do any of that stuff. So it's hard to relate a lot. But that group of guys in front of me, they're fun and easy to relate to. And so I have a lot of fun with them. He won two Super Bowls, but you know, that was a long time ago. Galaxy far, far away, and you have three children, right? Mm -hmm. And now you get a chance to do it for them in front of them. So that's gotta be a motivating factor. It is, it's a lot of fun. They definitely understand what's going on. You know, they see a Steeler thing. We went into the Hallmark store the other day and they saw, you know, the little um, Christmas ornament of me. And my little one was like, dad, dad, you know, like, so it's just, it is, it's fun that they're getting to that age that they understand what I do. It would be the ultimate dream to be able to share a Super Bowl with them.